Hello everybody, welcome to Repro Baiting with Altrius on the new selection of the new channel. We are going to play Quake. We have already played Doom. Do you remember that? I think we played that on the previous channel you and I play, so go and check that out. It does still exist. Do you mind? <laughs> I was trying to get to the... <laughs> I wasn't careful enough. We are going to play Quake. I'm going to try and find as many of the uh, secrets as I can. Let me shoot this. Um, I've got it on super mega excellent max sort of mm, resolution, but as you, it's such an old game. We're going to try it on nightmare uh, mode. If this doesn't work, we did this with the original Doom. It was horrible. <laughs> um, so if this turns out to be super horrible and difficult, I'm going to go back to hard mode. Until, oh, hello. Till then, also, we need... Uh, yeah, there we go. I need to know about myself a little bit. I'm going to try and find many of the secrets, but I'm not going to stress out about it. Um, because, you know, we have, a, we have a long way to go. There's a lot of this game to look at. If you haven't seen the game before, that's cool. Um, no one's asking you to have seen this game before. The idea here is that we play a lot of retro games. First of all, my computer can run them. That's probably being a little bit uh, unnecessarily rude to my computer because obviously this is the same computer I played the newest installation of Doom on. Uh, so we, we know that we can do it. This game is... Ooh, yeah, fight much yourselves. I don't mind that. Kill the dog. Bad dog. Uh, so, yeah, let's just uh, run around and see what we can get. I'm trying to remember where most of these secrets are. I did find that uh, Quake was probably one of the hardest games to modern map um i i haven't been very excuse me what was the point in that um i haven't been very sympathetic about id or id's game engines in the past and this is kind of why um first of all i don't know what a brush was this door opens elsewhere hmm, hmm. okay is there a button up here that needs to know about um when I was first trying to figure out how to make maps for this particular game, it, it gave me this thing called a brush. I can see this. You've seen this? This is different. Uh, and, and it turned out a brush is basically what you might expect it to be. It's a thing you'd roll with. Uh, but I did find that making Quake levels and also making Quake 2 levels, these were very, very involved. I mean, this is an, an early engine, of course, so you, know, you can't expect hugely amazing great things from it. But... At the same time, you might sort of be forgiven for expecting. Uh, I was going to say you might expect maybe a little bit of user friendliness, but it comes from an era when video games were as much made by developers as they were made by designers. You know, a lot of the video games that we're looking at here. No. Retro games in general were often made by people with just a, a passion for doing so. Something over there is shooting me and it made me feel bad. Yes, it was you. Oh, there's a dog. Get out of here. Um, whereas nowadays we have huge teams involved and only some of them are developers. Yes. That's what we like to see. Uh, obviously a lot of this is brand new at the time, these sliding sideways doors and things like ah, that's not quite true. We did play through Hexen, if you remember, also back on the You and I Play channel, uh, in which we learned about many different progressions that uh, that were made on top of the original Doom engine in order to produce, uh, I guess, a much more uh, sort of technically advanced, I suppose, is the, the main thing about that game. What is this noise? Hi, hi, hi. Um, with, you know, moving sideways things. And obviously these are mostly just cosmetic changes to... Ooh, a bio suit. That means you jump in here. Um, you know, cosmetic changes to the engine, which was otherwise just fairly plain and basic, but... Uh, don't go die. Can't breathe. <laughs> Wait, can you breathe with the bio suit? Like, permanently? But you can see how much more uh, complex this game is than even Hexen that we played because of the, the fully up and down looking. It's, that's completely new. In, <laughs> of course, we forgot that uh, 
the, the version of Hexen that we played was completely different from the version of Hexen that we would have seen. One of these opens, yeah, that one. Hello. Oh, quad. Uh, but I, oh, get down here before it runs out and it's useless. I want to know if I can get in there as well. Hi. You shot me, you bastard. This is actually very reminiscent of that that first level of the newest Doom, if you recall, uh, where we were running around a lot of yeah 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 uh, corridors and things. Well, that was pretty good. We I didn't even read that screen. We didn't get to keep our quad damage. That's rude. Okay, you blow up you. That's fine. This not only reminds me of playing exactly this game, but also of playing this game in multiplayer, which was super fun and amazing. By the way. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a very large contingent. Is this actually water? Yes. Of um, that was really obvious. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to try harder than that to get a secret past a seasoned gamer like myself. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a big contingent of people still playing these games online multiplayer. Um, and if there is, honestly, I'd like to join back in. Do you ever play it? You must have, right? Everyone watching this has presumably played. Quake and, and Unreal Tournament and games like this. Unreal Tournament, uh, I was going to say predates, but the opposite, post-dates this Quake by a long time, but that dude had way too much HP. <laughs> also, by the way, I know I keep saying... <sighs> Talking is not really my favourite activity, so you might be wondering, hey, why have you got uh, a gaming channel where your entire purpose is to commentate on the game that you're playing? And try and be interesting and etc. Um, yeah, good question. Um, t t post date Unreal Tournament is later than this game. It was about the same time as Quake 2, which we will be getting onto. Even though it was not quite so well received, um, honestly, I much preferred Quake 2 to Quake 3. And I'm remembering this area actually, not that I remember anything I'm supposed to do about it, but. Dogs? Quad. Gibbs. Let me in. <laughs> Help. So, yeah, that and other words. That was very painful and I did not appreciate it, you monster. Super shotgun, nice. What were those? Oh, traps, nice. Um, where was I saying? I was talking about how difficult I found this game to make maps for. And that. Now that I think about it from sort of this modern angle where I basically know what I'm talking about. Excuse me while I scratch my ear. <laughs> um, I can understand that... I feel like there's something to do with that, but I don't remember what it is. Let's just go over there and shoot this thing in the face with my shotgun. Nice try, Sunshine. Whoa! That was actually quite a nice try, so well done. I know it was a nice try because you managed it. That was just fine. Boom, lol. Boom, lol. Get out of here. Not making any friends. I do appreciate that our first uh, gun, our primary weapon, is a shotgun. In Doom, obviously, you started with that pistol, but no one needs that. Also, in Doom, you couldn't jump. Hexen gave us jumping. But it did not give us this underneath things. Um, Quake is made out of what is now... Quite obviously, a very, very simple uh, um, principle where you just have these blocks, basically. Rather than, I think we explained the Doom, uh, the Doom engine at the time, but maybe not very well. If you recall, the Doom engine was made of flat areas, basically, with heights and. Um, lighting and a floor and a ceiling and that was it. Uh, when I say a floor and a ceiling I literally mean the textures of the floor and the ceiling were set in those areas. Uh, the level of lighting and then some sometimes some special behavior along the lines of by the way I'm shooting all these buttons I don't know what they do. This is such an obvious trap it's not even worth mentioning. But I think we just like jump in here. Nice. Um, can I please? May I? No? Sir? Fine, suit yourself. Okay, cool. That was a secret even though it opened up for me whilst I was there. 
to... Uh, I forgot what I was saying once again. I do appreciate the uh, knockback effect that they have added to this game that was not... Oh yeah, I was talking about... Um, probably didn't need to waste the double barrel shotgun ammunition there. The, the engine of Doom, which is very, very simple, basically it gave us a few effects that you could apply to certain sectors, like this is a lift. Uh, this one is a door, etc, etc. Why must you be this way? Yeah, that was kind of weird. I appreciate the, the creepiness there. I hate this. I hate this. These seem like the precursor to the pinkies that we found in New Doom. What? <laughs> right, we died. I'm going to have a sip of tea. What's Quake without tea? I hope that the levels are okay for you, by the way. Oh, come on. Um, the sound levels. Because I haven't put much effort into, 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 into adjusting them. For any real reason. Um, so, deal with it. Yeah, and then in Quake, they came along with this idea that... Ooh, Nin. Uh, your... I mean, it's pretty obvious. Look, there's a block there. There's a block here. You have an engine that can determine collision with these things. Basically, whether your uh, unit is standing on them or not. I haven't actually picked up a double barrel shotgun yet. I may save scum, if you don't mind, because I died. And I would like that to not happen again. So, is it F5? No, but I can go to options and... It's going to set quick save real fast if there is one. Oh, I whacked the mic. Every time I'm using... <laughs> uh, wait, what? Okay, sure. Um, every time... Yes, I have a J drive. Get over it. Uh, the keyboard. I am punching the microphone. I'm sure you are all used to this by now, especially having watched the uh, Cataclysm series, where I am just perpetually punching the microphone. I would very much like the grenade launcher. So you can see fairly clearly, I'm hoping, the the way this game's structured. It's just uh, arbitrarily arranged. This opens elsewhere. Uh, blocks, blocks of arbitrary size, all over the place. But it's quads. So I'm going to make the most of it. Come around here and shoot these blokes. Try and get rid of all the things that have been dogging my heels. Um, and and a lot. Ooh, I didn't know that was there. A large part of the deal with it for me, when I was trying to work with it, was that uh, you started off with just this empty area, and you're supposed to fill it basically with with blocks. So the obvious thing is that if you don't fill it with blocks, um, you end up being able to see outside of the world. So, I don't know if you've ever seen the Hall of Mirrors effect, that's what they used to call it. Uh, it really depends on the engine that is rendering Quake at the time. I'm not sure how this one would deal with it. If you no-clip through the wall... This might have happened in Doom, actually. No-clip being the cheat you use where you can just walk through all... It turns off clipping, which is collision. Uh, no-clip through the wall, and you get to... I'm going to jump in here and see if there's anything funky. Uh, you get to... Help. The, the outside of the map, where there's no sort of anything, right? That makes sense. But only if there's an outside of the map. Well, that's not quite true. In every game engine I've ever used, if you turn off clipping, you can walk through the wall that bounds the entire map irrespective of whether there's supposed to be anything on the other side of it or not, in, in, in sort of, I don't want to say realistic terms, because I'm not talking about real anything. <laughs> it's a rather odd thing to say, but I think you get the idea. I need to open that door. I'm going to quickly save, because why the heck not? Um, right, we're back at the start. Okay. I'm so confused by the layout of these levels. <laughs> Please, let me through. Um, 
Previously, we get what we call a Hall of Mirrors effect, which is this weird effect where, as you walk forwards, basically, through the wall, all the things that you just drew, that you just looked at, oh, we have to go this way, uh, don't get redrawn. So there's nothing outside the level to uh, sort of convince the engine to draw a background. So you end up with a Hall of Mirrors effect is basically the previous frame is drawn again. And sometimes it would flicker, which is why it had that um, name. But I, honestly, it didn't really have anything. It didn't look anything like a Hall of Mirrors, to be honest with you. You died. Excuse me. Didn't appreciate that. We. Okay, cool. Uh, in this quake, and that. Uh, I think even subsequent quake games, you had to make sure that you build this level. Again, you've done it wrong. <laughs> uh, in such a way that. Uh, we could try that again. Nope, that's not right. You can't see outside of it. There's no leaks, basically. It was a leaky engine. You could leak... <laughs> you could literally make leaks in the engine. Such that... There was a way of seeing from the player's camera to, to this void outside of the level. I got the nails. I like that. Just the nails. Who's nails? Jimmy nails? Jimmy is nails. Gross. Now we go back to this blue door. Where's my door with the key? I can't just save scum surreptitiously because I have to press so many buttons. No, that's not right. Either. Is it? Oh, is this way? Yeah. Open sesame. You don't catch me out that easily. Not only have I been here before, but I am a veteran elite gamer. I am in the Master League of Gamers, or at least I've heard of the Master League of Gamers, which should be enough for you, Joker. Why do these things have so much HP? Anyway, once I've figured out what the word brush means, which is a thing you paint with, uh, I, I tried making a map. So I was like, oh, if I make a hexagon and then put this little special thingy on the thingy then the player spawns here and then you press a button and it gives you compiler errors mm. it's a video game <laughs> and i was using a map editor and of course i was used to that not being a thing uh turns out that when they came up with quake they did it in the sort of a Hi. Uh, 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 brush first sort of way. It seems like a very obvious thing to do if you were to invent a new engine for a game. You say, well, I'm going to make a stair and it's going to be a cube. And then if the player steps on the cube, it doesn't go through it. That makes sense. To me, at least. I'm going to try and find some more HP. Find some more shells. That's nice. I'm not going that way to do it. Um, I hope this is recording fine, by the way. Let me know. Uh, and you build them up, so if you make a, if you use six of them, you can make a cube, and you can put the player in the middle, and then you can have, like, the ceiling have this special sky effect, and then using standard, oh, there's HP right here, using standard, uh, pre-established ID Doom style sky boxes, you can make a special texture that doesn't move with everything else and looks like a sky. Cool. Cool flipping beans. I'm not passing through the arch exit. Um, if you ever made a tiniest mistake in doing that, I, um, you get compiler errors because it had what's called a binary space partition, BSP, and that, I believe, not only determined where you could stand, it, it was basically, it, it compiled your, um, were those bad noises? I don't know. Mm. Do these both go the same way? Well, it goes to the opposite side, I think. Um, mm. what... I think it did the collision, but also the lighting. So you can see, as I stand in this corner, the lighting gets brighter and darker. So the lighting in this game is rendered onto the walls directly. Secrets 3 of 3. Yeah, we did alright, but it took us a while. More tea, Vicar. 
uh, it, the, the textures sort of get the lighting burned into them. We call that static lighting, it's not dynamic lighting, obviously. Which is to say that if you tried to move the light source, nothing would change. Oh, we're not going that way, huh? Thank you. I don't have a crosshair, and I apologize. Oh, hi! I'm guessing you have to give them. <laughs> Ow. Wowee. Good thing this is here. <laughs> 20. 20 or so. I'd like that thing to. Go away. Chill out! What are you yelling for? Nice. Quite cool. We do have some ammo for this, which is great. <laughs> These grenades? Rockets. Uh, you do. Oh, come on. <laughs> I have obviously been gaming for far too long because there is no way I am falling for that. <laughs> I assume that um, rockets. What number is that? Five, six, six. It says no weapon because I'm already on it. <laughs> kind of lying, I think. Hello. Uh, oi, 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 oi! Not that thing already. That's a bit too much. Another bloody shambler. I don't think I can get in here, which means I'm essentially safe. Is it dead? No. Nope. Uh, hang on a minute while we take on a difficult enemy rather than talk about video game engines. I don't think Quake had any dynamic lighting at all. Not like immune to proper explosions, are you? Please don't ever get back up. <laughs> oh my god, what? That's not what I meant. It's not an alternative. I don't know why I don't have a crosshair, by the way. Goodness me, I know I've gone quiet. <laughs> it's because I keep spawning shamblers in. Oh, you bastard pit! <sighs> Fine. Hello, you. Run away. Nice. One more? No. Hey, at least we remembered how to do it this time. Oh, yeah, one more. I found you. Three. Thank you. Ow! Got stuck on the uh, wall there, going backwards. There was a, a weird um, feature, so to speak, of oh, I shouldn't have used a second one of those, of the Wolfenstein 3D engine, where you couldn't actually pick up an item if you walked backwards over it, which I found quite interesting, because of course you could pick up eventually, it's just you had to go. It, it, you wouldn't have picked it up until you walked forwards over it. Or until you can see it in front of you whilst, whilst walking backwards or, or something. And yet in this flipping game, they have decided that it's perfectly okay to, um... Well, I'm not going to get anything out of that. Whoa, that's not correct. Whew. Run away. They've decided it's perfectly okay if they... Let me get stuck on scenery that's behind me. Yikes! I'd rather you people try to chainsaw me <laughs> and grenading me all the time. There's a lot of grenades in this nightmare mode, I'll be honest with you. Ow! Didn't expect that. Well. Anyway. I believe. 
we were talking about. Dynamic lighting. Quake does not have. Fix it. Nope. The reason this is a important thing to mention is that the binary space partition, I believe, just decided what um, lighting each section of the 3D zone had that you walk around in. Okay, makes sense. So as you jump around, the whole volume of the space that you're running around in is pre-computed to have a certain amount of. Oh heck! Uh, have a. Oh, that was really good. So you're going to get back up again because I didn't jib you. Nice. Uh, so it knows up front basically as you run around. Because it doesn't have to compute it, it just has to find it. But it does mean that whenever you change the level, it has to recompute the entire volume of the space that you run around in. Seems a bit silly, no? Don't know where you are. There you are. I mean, I'm wondering... I'm going this way, basically, because I don't want to pick up that nail gun that was scary. Now I think we're at the point where we should go back, get the nail gun and fight the shamblers on my terms, which is in a little hole that they can't get through. So, let's do that. I know what you Yikes! Forgot about that. That wasn't, the that wasn't my finest hour, I'll be honest. Uh, let me kill these. If you remember, Hexen gave us some really good scripting opportunities as well. Um, and indeed, Hexen script was the thing I mentioned. It was the first programming-like thing I ever did. Why am I switching weapon? Because this one has a smaller spread. There you are. Uh, this, please. Which meant in Doom, you only had a limited number of options for how you would interact with... Oh, where are you? How you would interact with, for example, um, all the enemies in a room. Basically, you would say, when there's no enemies left, you can do stuff. This is uh, more tedious than anything else. Uh, in Hexen, you could label them as being required for a certain script to run, so when these tagged enemies all die, then you do the thing. Back here again. He keeps making these thump sound, <laughs> which I'm okay with. It's just that I don't really have the opportunity to um, watch to see what the thump is caused by, and therefore get the full effect of the uh, enemy. There's only two, right? Well, there's this as well. So anyway. You rebuild the level and you binary space partition, the BSP gets recomputed. But if you have a leak in your map, it basically, I now that I think about it, I'm assuming that what happens is that means that you have an infinite space <clears throat> uh, to light. Right? So when you have like an infinite space to light does seem difficult. <laughs> if you if you've ever done any form of mathematics in your life, uh, infinite amount of stuff is a lot of stuff. So it errors, which I guess is a thing. Fine, okay, no problem. Don't appreciate it, but I can understand why you would not want to attempt to. Uh, to compute this situation, it's going to go just no. Um, it would have been much nicer. I think that wasn't a secret. I think that was the way you have to go. Well, that's cool. It would have been much nicer if it just went, well, there's a leak. I'm only going to compute X amount of space, right? But I, I guess the problem is you can't use any real heuristics to... Oh, hello. Where did you come from? To determine whether you should be... You know, considering an area of map to be in range of a light. Well, I mean, you can. 
I think the idea is that you have to completely enclose the space for it to be able to decide what space exists. It's very difficult to decide what space exists. You know, it's not like you have to, you don't have to start at the origin of the map, right? You could put the um, the, the player at negative, the spawn point at negative like a thousand in one direction. What you think you're doing? <laughs> Stop it. Um, and then never use anything less than negative a thousand in the y-axis, for example. And then you have completely discovered any assumptions that they may have made about. I mean, I'm kind of theory crafting how you would build a game engine here, but this is we're taking it from 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 very first principles, because what we're actually trying to do is figure out how you would, if you were in, create a game engine where you could have dynamic lighting wherever you wanted. Well, not dynamic lighting, but like, how would you make a space where you could, if you wanted to, have a huge world out you know, well, maybe not huge. I don't know what the limits are on the actual... You don't need to... Give. Um, I don't know what the limits are on the actual thingy, but... Um, make a, a world where you could jump around it and the lighting in the... Like, attached... The lighting that you've attached to the walls is faithfully represented as you run around the map. That's a difficult problem to solve. Especially when you have the limited computing resources of the average home system in, what is this, 1996? I guess we'll look it up afterwards to see what time, what, what year Quake was made, but definitely seems like a, a very early game to me. I need to get these full up. I can't remember what um, you could read that told you how to play Quake, but it certainly told you that if you hit an enemy dead on with a grenade, it will explode in their face. I, I thought it told you that when you picked up the grenade launch, but it did not seem to. Hi. So you're really, really a fan of making things throw grenades at me, aren't you? <laughs> if you recall in Doom, Nightmare Mode... Mm. Oh, oh, I actually jumped. I actually moved to the side. Luckily, I did so with my keyboard as well. But I, I jumped. <laughs> it scared me. Touche game. You are 20 odd years old. Older than some people at work. And you still made me jump. With a jump scare, no less. Honestly, it wasn't even a jump scare. That was unfair to it. That was a legitimate, there's an enemy around the corner that you didn't know about, uh, and push. I'm pretty sure this just stops. Yeah. <laughs> this time you're like, how do I get out? And the first time you figure it out, because obviously when Craig, 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 when Craig came out, you uh, weren't used to just shooting buttons. I mean, I'm analysing this game engine, but you have to remember, it was still very new and very uh, revolutionary, I guess is a good word for it. Come on then. I didn't think you could jump that far. My mistake. I misunderestimated you, sir. Um, when Quake came out, it was revolutionary. We had... Doom had given us things you shoot to activate, for sure. One of three, I didn't look very hard for secrets there, did I? Let's keep going, I know it's a 34 minute video, but it's the first one of a new series, so we should make some, we should do good by it. Out, out. Hi. Please don't spawn behind me, it's very rude. Uh, it's very, also I'm on a roll, so I wanna keep talking. Um. Are you, are you just exploding yourselves? Please be. Uh, uh, one HP, nice. 
<laughs> I'm hitting it because I don't have a crosshair, which I've mentioned a couple of times. I don't know why it's the case. This is loud in my ears, so if you are having trouble, then I apologise. Well, I'm sliding down this slope. I didn't know that even happened. I'm very much expecting to be ambushed because this game exists. I've <laughs> played video games before. Um, it was a very revolutionary thing, and Doom did give us uh, panels that you can shoot to activate, but it really didn't give us... Um... Oh, God. I didn't want to pick that up yet. Um, it didn't give us sort of hidden buttons that you could look up and find, or even buttons that stuck out of the wall. It's, it's all very, very new indeed at the time. Obviously now we were like, yeah, sure, you shoot that button to do the thing, whatever. But not then. Let's go down here. Hi. Air supply. I'm all out of air. Oh, it's a super nail gun and I don't even know if it recognises it as a secret. That is damn decent. One more explosion. Thank you. Very much a fan of that. Um, that was like six nails to kill that knight. Which took way more than six nails last time I had to go. Hard as nails, mate. Hard as nails. Oh, hi! <laughs> Pretty sure I'm falling over. So, if you now consider that we've gone from Doom to this. Is that such a dismissive way of saying this? I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. I do find that my uh, <laughs> the way I say things has nothing to do with the things I'm saying. Um... We've gone from Doom to this, right? Um, we've we've got water that you can swim in. I guess we had Duke Nukem 3D sort of somewhere in the middle like that, but, you know, it wasn't a secret, by the way, I think, simply because you have to go there. Maybe you don't. It's probably the only way out of the water. It's not the only way out of the water, because you can climb out of that water. So, what's the problem? Let's go this way. The reason I'm going this way... Nope, the other way. Oh. Hang on, maybe you can't climb out of the water, and that was the same way twice, and I just derped it. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh, we haven't been this way. You know, going underwater like this, never before heard of. I found the blue door. Going, uh, you know, having Z-axis work, where you can look down. I mean, I think... Don't quote me on this, or do, I don't care. Um, your Commodore Garden original players of Quake probably would not have even been using the mouse. Um, my Quake, this version of Quake was set up to use WAS and D and the mouse by default. It's possible that maybe Quake was originally? Possibly. But I don't know. Um, obviously Doom wasn't. Because it didn't really have look, it, it didn't have look up and down at all. Uh, Hexen did, but it wasn't very good. It was the same as Duke Nukem 3D's, actually, where it just sort of, it did the shearing thing. I explained that in the series, so go watch it if you're interested. Um, but here we have um, a completely different kettle of fish. It's basically the first time you could look down, you could go underneath things, that you could swim around in this manner, in this capacity. In the way that we are at all in any game so we've waxed a little bit lyrical on how maybe we would have designed this engine ourselves and probably come up with very similar conclusions that it came up with when they did it i'm just gonna twist my ankle down here if you don't very much mind um, but i having played more modern game engines that don't have these problems it kind of bugs me that its game engines continue to make that mistake. Nope. <laughs> I really need HP. I don't want to go back and find any though. So yeah, I found it very difficult to make these maps because you had to be so meticulous that you really had no choice as to whether you... Ah, you bastard! Well, I'm going to leave it there because I've chatted on nonsense for ages and it's a 40 minute video and I'm just going to record another video anyway straight away so don't, don't wait up.
My tea's gone cold. I've only eaten one bite out of this biscuit. Oh. Anyway, don't eat a biscuit when you're about to talk. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying a new series on a retro game where we talk nonsense about the engine until we're blue in the face. I like talking about the game engine. And I hope you like hearing about it. So if you come back in the next episode, I'm sure I'll go on about it at length even more. But again, thank you for watching this episode. Give it a like if you've liked it and do subscribe if you want to see more and do share it with your friends because they like Quake too. But until the next episode, which I am immediately going to record, thanks for watching and I will see you.